well, to talk about recognising the signs of Alzheimer's and treatments. We're joined now by Professor June Andrews, who's an expert in dementia. Hi, June. Thanks Hello. for coming to be with us tonight. How common is, is a diagnosis like that? Early dementia like that is really uncommon. How much do we know about that so far, about if there might be a hereditary element to this? The genetic link exists for some people with dementia, but it's really very rare. So what are the, June, firstly, what are the causes? And secondly, what are the symptoms that people should be looking out for? Well, the causes are many and varied, but the key thing is not to be able to do things that you used to be able to do. There's no exact test except something that will show you a deterioration in what you used to be able to do. Yeah, and it must be difficult when you hear about the kind of symptoms that Fiona talked about. Those could be menopausal symptoms, for example. And June, what about treatment? Is there misconceptions surrounding, surrounding that? Well, the most important thing that we can do at the moment is those lifestyle changes, a hugely important issue mm -hmm. in making sure that you stay well. Yeah, and are you hopeful about the kind of treatments? We know there have been these recent advances with, with treatment. Is there much light at the end of the tunnel? Are you looking at the kind of research that's being done and, and hopeful that we're going to get better at this, at dealing with a, a growing problem? They've come up with things which might work, but they're not dramatic. So the best hope for all of us is to do everything you can to keep your brain health yeah. as good as it possibly can be and it's never too soon to start. Okay well thank you so much for coming